137 million? Yes, and if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Expressling, where we get you in and out as fast as possible. This is from, obviously, Kiwi Firms, because I've been blocked by DSP for years. Just received a $1,500 bill for legal fees to clean up the identity theft I just went through in the USA. You get billed for being a victim of a federal crime. But it's not true. It's all fake. His argument about this makes no sense. The bank leaks are fake, but it's a federal crime. Now I've been charged $1,500 because a federal crime was committed. Needless to say, this is effed up and I'm pretty upset to get this news on my day off of all days. Wah. Anyways, I just got on YouTube, got a video about what happens if your shit gets stolen, if you're a victim of identity theft. Well, let's watch, let's listen. What do you do if your debit card gets stolen and some unknown thief makes a bunch of charges against your account? Well, fortunately for you, there is a law, a federal law called the... Now, I know, well, is like, no one stole his card and made a bunch of expenses. It's his expenses that are on there. But, again, this still applies to him. Just, let's listen. The Electronic Fund Transfers Act. And that law says that the bank can't hold you liable for unauthorized charges as long as you report the loss of the card to the bank within two days of discovering that the card was stolen. What does this mean? The bank is liable for that shit. Well, it means basically that the bank is required to protect your money. And if a thief or an identity thief uses your card or your account information to take your money, the bank has to give it back. The now, bank has to give it back you know by law. That you've been the victim of some sort of theft or fraud. They've got to conduct an investigation. And they conduct it, not you. Orally or on the telephone, they can require you to confirm your dispute in writing. I always recommend that you dispute in writing in the first place because that way you have proof of it. Nobody can say, well, they never told me about it and they didn't say this, they didn't say that. No. You do it in writing, you got proof, they have no escape route. And what does the bank do once they get your dispute? Well, they have 10 days to complete their dispute. They have to investigate the facts and determine whether or not an error occurred. If they determine that an error occurred, they got to give you your money back within 10 days. It's as simple as that. If for some reason they can't complete their investigation within 10 days, they still got to provisionally give you your money back. That means they got to put it back in your account temporarily until they finish their dispute investigation, which can take up to 45 days, according to the law. Now, what if they don't do it right? What if you have some legitimately bogus transactions and the bank still didn't give you your money back? Well, they can be taken to federal court because the law says they've got to do the right thing. And if they don't, you can sue them. And if you win, they've got to give you all your money back, plus $1,000, plus lawyer's fees. Furthermore, nice. if it turns out that the bank didn't conduct a genuine investigation at all, if they made the wrong determination without even really looking into the facts, then they can be held liable for triple damages. Okay? So... You don't need to take the bank's word for it. If you can prove that you've been the victim of theft, then they gotta give you your money back. And if they don't, you need to call a lawyer today. Finally, I'll add one tip. If there has been some sort of act of theft or identity theft, you need to report it to the police. Having a police report really strengthens your case. In the first instance, it'll make the bank take you more seriously. And secondly, if you do have to take them to court, it really helps to be able to show the judge and the jury that you did file a police report, you did everything you could to resolve the dispute and prove your case to the bank without having to take them to court in the first place. So if you've been the victim of identity theft or lost or stolen card, uh, dispute it with the bank, do the best you can to work it out with them. But if they don't do the right thing, call a lawyer today. It costs you nothing. The bank has to do all the work. And if the bank doesn't do the work that they're supposed to, you know what happens? You take them to court, and then they still pay your money back, plus $1,000, plus lawyer fees. And if it's proven that they did not they did just jack shit, you get triple damages. It does not cost you anything. It doesn't cost you a fucking penny. 
You know what does cost a pretty penny, though? Maybe even $1,500? Zombie Havoc 2021, the Unmortal Hulk Hogan debut contest. Starts 10-27 at noon. Oh. That was on his day off. That was today. That was... That was the same day as... That tweet. Huh. Holy fuck. This guy probably just went, Oh, new Hulk Hogan. $100. Well, ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. Nope. 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 Yeah, I finally pulled him. Oh, should I spend $1,500? Guys, I need to pay a lawyer $1,500. So give me, read me, $1,500, guys. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me, DSP? You are this transparent. Now, yes, I know. Well, his credit or his debit card wasn't stolen. There's no unauthorized charges. He just got his identity stolen. That makes it even worse. Because that's literally just, hey, either you call the bank or better just show up and be like, hey, I need to change my password and my pen. Okay. Da -da -da -da. All right, your shit's been changed. Goodbye. It does not cost fifteen hundred dollars. Now I get it. DS DSPs pay pigs, they're gonna fall for this. They're not gonna do what I did and just take five seconds to be like, hey. And mind you, this is probably some guy on his phone or his laptop, whatever. It's not the best quality video, but you know what? It's still better quality than DSP's videos. And just First part is great. Let's. I got everything turned up. What do you do if your debit card gets stolen, and some unknown thief makes a bunch of charges against your account? Well, fortunately for you, there is a law, federal law, called the Electronic Fund Transfers Act. Federal law. Again, that's about debit card being stolen. And this is just. Oh, because I used Mr. Stupid one for all my bank accounts. They probably figured. Plus, Jackass probably uses 1234 for his bank pin number. Hey, look at that. The Jackass does use one. I don't know what he actually uses, but it's DSP. He probably uses 1234 or his birthday. All right. It's my birthday. They'll never figure that one guy out. Uh, wait a minute. We all know your birthday because you celebrated for a fucking week. So, yes, there's no need to spend $1,500 on a fucking lawyer. It doesn't cost you anything. If anything was actually taken from your account, it was actually spent, the bank has to pay you back within 10 days by federal fucking law. And if they don't, you can take them to court and they pay you the money back. Plus a thousand dollars. Plus lawyer fees. And if they just straight up didn't do anything, it's trouble damages. And of course, this was a true thing of, no, whatever stolen all that, file police support. Kiwi Farms, those would be public records. Kiwi Farms would have found that by now. Kiwi Farms would have found it and posted it everywhere. Clearly, there was no police report. Because there was no identity theft. Someone just went, let's see, DSP is a dumbass. One, two, three, four. Oh, look, it worked. Or, birthday. Hey, look, it worked. He's a fucking moron. Now. Second authorization requires, you know, they usually send you a text. I've gotten before when... I bought a bunch of gift cards for Christmas. I get immediately like, hey, blah, 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 was this actually you? Text back, yes, if it was. What if, during the bank reveal, like the guy gets to his account and all that, DSP gets an alert like, hey, did you just alert, uh, get into your account? What? Fucking yes, man. I was spending all that money on WWE Champions. Fuck off, bank. I need to get back to WWE Champions, try to get the new Hulk Hogan card. Yes, it was me. Not realizing that, no, they meant the person getting into his bank account. Could have very well have gotten a list saying, hey, someone just got into your bank account from Georgia or Minnesota or, I don't know, Quebec. But DSP going, what? Oh, I'm trying to buy more Hulk Hogan cards. Yes, that was me. Fuck off. Would not doubt it for a moment that he got an alert saying, hey, did you do this? Yes, it was me. I'm trying to get in my bank account to get more money. So I can get more WWE Champion polls without realizing what the actual message was. Would not surprise me at all. Anyways, I'll we'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.